Hey, Sweet Life family, how are you doing today? Welcome to another Disney Money Monday. And I am excited to be sharing some more tips with you that I learned this week. Um, I feel like on this journey, I'm constantly learning uh, new techniques that I can use and share. And so I'm grateful. And then the more I share with people what I'm doing, other people start giving me tips that I can share with you. So that is just super amazing. And I'm excited about that. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Barika. I am one of the three Coast of Tears. And here is one of my other. Oh, you woke up, huh? I'm doing a Disney money one day. Um, and so uh, this is Elise. We are two of the three Coast of Tears. Just want to say oh, good joy. morning to you. And you gonna join okay but listen we're talking money so you just need to listen and be a student okay all right so um we're two of the three coast of tears we're so happy that you stopped by listen you may have came as a guest but you will certainly leave as a friend and we are so grateful for you make sure that you hit that subscription button make sure that you hit the little bell notification and set it to always so that you're always notified every time we put out a new video and at the end if this is a video that you like please make sure that you press the like button and leave a comment share some tips with us about money okay so you know what we always say grab your favorite snack, snack get comfy, comfy and, and let's talk, talk disney money, money monday, monday. <laughs> okay. yes we finally got it <laughs> we did get it all right Okay, so on this um, episode of Disney Money Monday, I am so excited to just share some things that I have been learning. Certainly, I am not a pro. I am just learning uh, this journey as I go. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to um, start this adventure for myself and then with all of you guys is just because I noticed that as YouTubers, it is so very easy to just spin, 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 especially when you're trying to get wonderful uh, content for your channel, which there's nothing wrong with spinning, but I just had a huge concern for myself and for others that I want us to be able to do it and have fun, but also do it responsibly so that we're not going into debt because one of the main things that I have for myself was that, and for my family, is that I would rather us um, use money to make memories than to bring tons of stuff in the house. And am I saying that I'm not going to be shopping? No, because I love to shop and we love Disney merch, right? Mm -hmm. But and we mommy's going to teach me. Right. But we also like making magical memories, right? Mm -hmm. Like going on trips and, and things... Um, like that um and but you can't really go you can't really go and make memories like you want to on a regular basis if you're not saving money and spending wisely because it costs money to go on these disney magical vacations right and other vacations and other vacations too um so someone's texting me <laughs> i was like what okay so we just want to do it responsibly so the tips that i have for this week is bills we got to talk about this bills okay because it is good to save money but you also have to pay off bills and especially if you are using credit cards and things to secure um merchandise or to pay vacations and things like that so the first tip that I have for you is you're going to want to know what debt you have. 
okay and so basically you're gonna need to take all your credit card statements and your um for your um you know the bills that are not utilities but you also want to take your utilities your yeah, utility hmm? orange juice. go ahead so you're gonna want to get all of your bills your utility bills you know that would be gas and electric that's going to be your water bill if you have that that's going to be your cell phone bill your cable bill all the recurring things that you need for your household okay and then you're going to want to take your bills from just debt okay um just get everything that you owe and you're going to want to start looking at those due dates and so however you get paid if you get paid uh twice a month then you want to make a list for your bills um, for your first period and then you're going to want to make a, a list for your second bill period okay your paychecks paychecks period so this is first paycheck second paycheck because you want to make sure that you know what you need to pay you don't want to guesstimate it or you don't want to depend on your statements you want to know what bills for your first paycheck that you owe and what bills for your second paycheck that you owe. I find that when I have a list, I'm really, you didn't get your little bites. There's no more. Yeah, there are on the, um, by the, under the smart garden. Okay. Um, so you will find that if you have that list, you will be on it every time it's time to pay a bill. I find that when I stick to my list, I can clearly identify what I need to pay. Okay, and then um, I don't forget about things as much. If I just try to go off of my statements or just guesstimate, I always make a mistake. So that's the first thing, okay? Get your list of your bills. If you get paid once a month, then you're gonna still do the same thing. You're just gonna put all your bills on one paper because you, I guess you won't need to break it down um, into two, you know, paychecks, two every two weeks, okay? Bi-weekly. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's early in the morning. All right. The next thing that you want to do once you get your list of your bills, you want to put, make another list, right? This is just for your credit cards. Make another list of just your credit card statements. And you want to put them in order as far as smallest to largest. Because when you're paying off stuff, you're going to want to pay off your smaller de debt first. And then you'll pay off your larger debt. Does that make sense? Okay, this is Dave Ramsey's snowball effect. So you want to list it smaller amounts to larger amounts, okay? Um, and then the cars is not credit card debt. I just, I know you already know that. That would go into more like everyday needs. Your, I would put those with my utilities. It's not a utility, but it is a need, a large loan that you're going to be constantly paying on until you pay off your car okay so that does not count in this debt that i'm talking about i mean you could put it in there if you just know you're about to pay off your car okay all right so let me just say this but because it's such a large debt it's going to be there for a while that's at the bottom of the list just so you know so if i'm looking at my debt right now um there was none in that box None. Okay. I looked in the pantry thingy. That's because you had to have two yesterday instead of one. You see what happened when you have two in one day? You miss out on a day. But we're going to go to the grocery store. Yeah. But I hit my head also getting that. I'm sorry. Right here. Mm -hmm. You're always hitting head. your head. Okay. So, if I'm looking at my debts, I have a couple of smaller debts that I have just recently um, accrued because... When you're paying off your credit cards, you do not want to have any of your accounts to close, okay? So that means every once in a while, you're gonna have to charge a little something on it. Now, don't go crazy, okay? And I'll explain what you mean. Um, so I have a Victoria's Secrets card and I spend like $60 on it. And then I have an Old Navy card and I spent um, about $60 on it. So. It says my Victoria's Secrets is $64.46 and my uh, Old Navy is $70.74. So if I can pay them both off in this time, in this um, payday, I will go ahead and do that. Just get them paid off. If I couldn't, for some reason, I'm just giving an example, 
then I'm going to want to tackle the smallest one first. And then you're going to keep doing that. Now, as you're constantly charging little amounts on your different credit cards so that they don't close, uh, some, one financial advisor gave me a tip to say, um, you know, set a timer so that you remember to, like in your phone, set an alarm for a far out date so you remember to use them. And I would also say, um, rotate them. Don't spend $50 on each one at the same time. So now that I know I've used my Victoria's Secrets and my Old Navy card, the next one that I'm going to want to fold in is my Nordstrom card. And then we have a Home Depot card. So those will be the next two ones that we'll do little purchases on. As far as the bigger credit cards, when they're paid off, I recently did an experiment where I was like, maybe I should use my Amazon card to uh, do my groceries on. I don't like that because groceries are always continuous. So I feel like I had a, a bill that was about a hundred and something dollars, but then I still needed more groceries. So what I would say with that is maybe if I'm going on a daughter, a uh, mother daughter date with her, I can do like a habit meal on that card just to put something on, or maybe our frozen yogurt because it'll be a lower balance. I don't want to have anything where it's over a hundred. Um, while I'm paying stuff off. If later I decide, okay, I'm gonna put $100 on this card, I wanna be prepared to pay it off as soon as possible, like I, it, at least in two more paychecks because I don't want anything. It's so easy once you start putting money on these accounts for just a build up and before you know it, you're looking at $300. Like where did $300 come? I'm just saying, be careful, okay, when you're doing that technique, okay? So that's my tip. Get all your bills in order, break them up, uh, for two um, pay periods, unless you are on a monthly with your job. And then also, so you can have your list. So every time you pull your bills out, you're gonna take that that week out so you know what bills you're about to be paying so you do not miss anything, okay? Um, and then I use that as my checklist. Like, did I pay this? Yep, did I pay that? Yep, did I pay that? So I'm always on point. And then you also wanna do another list with just your credit card debt put them in order smallest to, to um, largest debt and you're going to start paying the smallest one off first. The next tip that I have for you is one day I was praying because we had so much debt and I was like, Lord, I need help on how to pay this stuff off so that it, it actually <laughs> dissipates. And he gave me this formula and this is what I stick by. So on your bills, you're always going to have a minimum payment. Okay. You don't want to just only pay the minimum payment because you'll never go anywhere. That's just the payment. It's like a payment where they're saying, okay, at least they pay that. It's not going to take your debt down. So if you pay a minimum payment only, you're never going to pay that off. They And they don't intend for you to do that. They're just going to continue to collect interest off you and your bill is going to continue to go up. So what I do is I pay the minimum payment and then there is a section where they let you know how much interest you owe. But on this one, I don't owe anything. It says interest charge and a zero, but most of the time you'll see that. I always do. For the one that I'm, for the cards that I'm trying to pay off first, I will do minimum payment plus interest plus a little bit over, whether that's like $5 or 10, whatever you can afford. That's for the one I'm paying off first. The other debts that I'm paying off, right, that I'm, that's in that list that's that's in that order i'm at least paying minimum plus interest minimum plus interest and maybe if you can do a dollar over on those ones okay so let me repeat that the one you're trying to pay off the day you're trying to pay off first minimum payment plus interest plus at least five dollars over and if you can do a little bit more do it the ones that are next on the list the runners up minimum payment plus interest and at least a dollar over, okay? Because this is gonna start helping your debt to go down because once you done pay that interest off, anything over that minimum payment plus that interest is gonna go towards paying your bill down. That is the, the wheel, okay, of progress. Okay, Disney lovers, the wheel of progress, you get that? All right, so that's important. So that's my tip. The other thing, so let me put that up and then organize your bills 
before the day you have to pay off start paying your bills like tomorrow is my bill pay day i've already opened up all my statements and i put it in here mm -hmm. because i don't want to be doing that tomorrow because it's just going to create a lot of anxiety if i already have my statements open and then i looked at my list to make sure i have everything on that list right there like do i have that yep 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 all that stuff is in there and then do not forget about your bills that are on auto pay okay because you still have to put those into your budget and do not forget about if you have i never do this pay, uh, paperless statements i don't have that because i do not like that that's another way they get you and then you forget i need all my statements coming to my house so i recommend if you have paper list bills that is helping the company to save paper it is so detrimental that you switch that around get your bills to your house do it the old-fashioned way because i will always forget unless you're super organized and you don't need to see something physically that's different okay so um yeah unless you're super organized and you do not need paper statements. Paper is the way to go because you have that physical sheet in front of your face where you can see stuff. Um, I do not recommend. No, I do not recommend. I do not recommend paperless statements. So that's what I'm gonna say about that. So now I'm ready for tomorrow. As soon as uh, our paycheck comes in, I'm ready to hit that. And do, let me tell you, this is another tip. Do not wait until after you start having fun to sit down and pay your bills. When your bills come in on that day, like, I mean, sorry, when your paycheck comes in on that day, sit down and do your budget out so you can know how much money you have to play with, how much money you have left over, um, especially if you're married, okay, because you got two people digging into the same account if you share accounts. We share accounts. So it is so important. And make sure that you give each party in the household an allowance because if you give them an allowance, then they have some splurge money, okay, that, um, and make sure it's a hefty amount. So like for us, we're making sure we have some fun money. We're making sure we have a little bit of money to eat on. We're making sure that our gas money is in there so that we're not constantly swiping on that family account because we want money to stay in the family account. But you guys have to sit down and look at what um, works for your household. But without us having allowance, it does not work because we will end up being in the negative. You have to give, you have to be, uh, realistic and give yourself um, money to um, spend for the things that you need. Like I know my husband spends a lot of time away from home because of work. I mean, he's going to need some food money. He's going to need some snack money. He's going to need something that will hold him. Now, Elise and I, um, we um, are home a little bit more, so we have a little bit of flexibility, but we still make sure everybody has what they need to survive out there in that big, beautiful world, okay? So the other um, thing that I wanna suggest, and someone gave me this uh, at church yesterday when I was talking about saving money, um, they talked about cooking all your meats on one day. And I thought that was pretty darn smart. Um, they said, Figure out at least, for me, I was thinking, how can I do this? So if I figure out at least three meats that we can have per week, because we're not going to be having different things every day because we want to save money. Think about three different meats that we can cook, I can cook in one day. And then all I have to do is fold in vegetables and occasionally some carbs. And then I love that idea, okay, because it, it helps me. I can use my crock pot. I can use my pressure cooker. I can use the oven. And there you got three different meats cooking at one time. And then on that day of the meal, I can cook, fix, prepare the salad or cook the vegetables that are needed for the uh, the rest of the week. So I am going, to, and then that way your vegetables don't go bad because I can go out and get vegetables, you know, as I need them which I used to love when I lived across the street from Whole Foods. 
I love that because I could just get my produce that day, walk across the street, get my produce that day, cook it, and it was all good. All right. So that's the tip. So um, and then make sure you look at Pinterest for easy recipes, um, slow cooker recipes, 30 minute meals, one pot, one pot. I love one pot dishes. And that's when you cook everything in one pan. Like you can cook pastas like that. Just look it up on Pinterest. They have so many different recipes. And then the last tip that I have for this Disney Money Monday is um, snack bag on the go. It's so important for you to carry a cooler with you for you and your little ones or just if you don't have little ones you and yourself but especially for your little ones because when you're out they're always going to get hungry they're always going to need snack they're always thirsty they always something and you too but what end up happening with parents a lot is we're always constantly feeding the kids we forget about ourselves we're not eating our metabolism slows down so make sure you have good healthy snacks in there and i'm starting to learn i've been doing this on sundays but i'm gonna start doing this daily as soon as if we're going out making sure we have some fruits and vegetables little snacks she like to eat on water for sure um my bejo whatever i need in there uh maybe this beef jerky whatever so that we are not buying because it's so easy when you do not bring your snacks with you you're go you're gonna get hungry then you're gonna eat out and nine times out of ten it's something you didn't even plan on um spending and that dips into the budget yeah so these are the tips organize your bills make a list for your bill payments, you know, your bill day. One set of bills over there, one set of bills over there. Make a whole list of your credit card debt. Put in an order, smallest to largest. Start paying the smallest ones off first. You're paying for sure, always your minimum interest on everything. And then for the one you're paying off first, minimum interest and a, at least $5 over. For the ones that are runners up, minimum interest and at least a dollar over. That will help you to get that down. Then you are going to want to think about your menu before you have to cook it. Cook at least three meats. If you're not a vegetarian, cook at least three meats, right? At once. And don't forget to prep one freezer meal. I still have not did this. I'm going to do this this week. I'm going to prep a freezer meal to have in my freezer on a rainy day. Okay. Maybe two. And then um, once you get your three meats out of the way, you got that cooked. All you have to worry about is your vegetables. And then do not forget your snack bag on the go. That is so very important to saving money. And then temptations come up i've had so many but i am so proud of myself that i have not yielded to any temptations while i do know i'm gonna have to start getting little things here and there for christmas especially for elise um that is a given okay so i will have to eventually spend money on shop disney and different places just to get her little things out but again i want to repeat the recipe for uh, a great christmas for children <laughs> And this is all they need. Something they want, something they need, something they can wear, and something they can read, okay? And um, maybe some money for their account. That is all children need. You do not have to go into debt to make sure that your kid has everything because nine times out of ten, they're going to be done with the stuff anyway after 30 minutes playing with their old toys. So something they want. That's one good big thing, something they need, something they can wear, something they can read, and some money over. Nine times out of ten, my um, wear is probably pajamas too, okay? So that is all the tips that I have for you today. I hope that they were super wonderful tips because I am excited. Today I don't have to cook because yesterday my husband cooked spaghetti, so that gives me a one-up to know what I'm going to be um, getting ingredients for tomorrow. When we get paid, after I do the budget, I will be going to the grocery store so that I can cook those three meats. And I'm going to use the oven. I got one of them already because I still haven't cooked that turkey breast we went to the grocery store with because things got so chaotic with um, everything that was going on with my family. So I have that one that I can cook. Um, I got 
some beans that I'm gonna cook, okay? And then, because that's a protein. Um, and then, but it's not my meat choice. So maybe I'll do two meats and then I have the beans because that's a good protein. But nine times out of 10, I'm gonna, it's, yeah, because it's gonna be Tuesday, I'm gonna just focus on two meats this week. And then I'll just fold in the vegetables as we go. All right. Thank you for hanging out on this Disney Money Monday. I am so happy to be doing this because it helps me get my life and organized. I mean, and organized. It helps me get my life organized. Listen, if you have not already um, entered into our giveaway for our 300 subscriber, we are we are giving away this beautiful Disney planner to one super blessed individual who we uh who has supported us we thank you guys all for your support your likes your comments just all the wonderful things that you say about this channel i hear a lot of great feedback about how positive it is and how helpful it is we just want to be a blessing to you guys because you are truly a blessing to us um go ahead and look at that uh video where i'm happy planning and it says 300 subscriber giveaway announcement we will be giving this out on saturday and i can't wait to see who wins this um beautiful beautiful planner i am enjoying my layout that i did this week and this week was my cinderella layout so i'm super excited about that on um i believe Thursday, I'll be doing another layout. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do it on Wednesdays or I think I'm going to do it on Wednesday because if we have Disney Money Monday and then Planet, you know, Disney, Happy Happy Plan With Me Wednesday, the Disney edition on Wednesdays. And then on Fridays, we're doing Fit for Disney. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we'll be dropping something. So yeah, I decided Money, Mon Disney Money Monday is Monday. Happy Plan With Me Disney edition Wednesdays and then fit for Disney on Fridays. And then we'll sprinkle whatever we need to sprinkle in between that. But we got a good solid um, round of things that is helping us get ready for our magical adventures. Because I'm telling you in 2021, I want to be ready to get on a Disney cruise, go to Walt Disney World, go to Disneyland, maybe go to Alani, wherever I want to go. And I do not want my bad behaviors of just getting stuff 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 to hold me back because <laughs> i want y'all to come join me on some vacations okay all right remember hit that subscribe button hit the little bell notification and set it to always so you're always notified every time we drop a video and then hit the like button and make sure to comment i truly enjoy spending this time with you remember the sweet life is the right life and we'll see you real soon bye bye